This is Morg, and this is our number one fan, Nico. Nico owns Morg. Well, maybe Morg owns Nico. Morg's got a problem. It's got no wheels. Well, it's got one wheel at the back. And at the front, it's just got motorbike wheels. Worn out motorbike wheels. So Nico's going to need a tool to change the tires. A Morg wheel nut removal tool, otherwise known as a transmogrifier. So Nico drew a plan for me, the bit I need to route out, but because I'm going to use a router guide, which is bigger than the router bit, I'm going to need to offset that by the difference in diameter, or difference in radius. 15 millimeter guide, 10 millimeter bit, so I need to offset that line two and a half millimeters. I'm going to be routing the template out of this five millimeter coated uh, fiberboard. I've used it for this sort of thing before. So there I was, just minding my own business, working hard on my YouTube stuff, when my wife came in and said... I think the washing machine died. Oh uh, yeah? What's its fault code? It's F21. Did you troubleshoot it? Of course. I googled it and watched a YouTube video. So what do you think the problem is? I think the brushes may have worn out. Really? Really. Guess we better replace the brushes then. So how do you know that your plumbing was done by an aircraft mechanic? Well. Lock wire on the drain tube extension is probably a giveaway. So I blew it out with some air, got all the crap out of it. Oh yep, sure enough, worn out brushes. The steel backbone of the brush is starting to come through and machined a groove into the commutator through there. While waiting for the new brushes, I can get on with the transmogrifier. Right, I've got this piece of 35 millimeter plywood left over from making stairs. We want about 30 millimeters of meat around that cutout. Now this guided bit here isn't long enough to go right through in one go. So I'll go in as far as I can and then come out from the other side with a piloted cutter and finish the cut guided off the first contour. Actually rather than going nuts with the router I think I'll cut away the worst of the material with the, with the jigsaw. Well that is as deep as I can go with that router, so it's time to flip it. And finish it with the bearing router.
Well, that worked really well. Cool. Next up, cutting the contour. Now, wheel nuts may be tight, so this tool's probably going to be hit with a hammer at times. I've got some 40 by 40 tube, so I think I'll start off with an end piece, which gets a piece of tube stuck over it. That can be the target for hitting with the hammer, and the rest of it just gets a nice freehand curve. Go a little bit closer here. Quick whiz around this with a belt sander. All right, last bit. Oh good, that was fast. The new brushes have arrived. Just polish up that armature a little. I'm not going to get that ridge out of the middle, it's too deep. You can see the offset in the brushes. And they've already got an angle on them, so obviously it goes in this way. These springs are pretty flexible. The tip on the YouTube video is just use a screwdriver to align it. Slide it all over the one side, slot it in. Okay, so just stuff that spring in a bit more by the looks of it. So you can see these little cutouts that should slot into this cutout here, but it's not going easily. There it goes. Now slot it back and put the connector on it. And then it's just rinse and repeat. I wonder how many washing machines get thrown out each year because people don't know how easy it is to change the brushes. You know, when my wife and I first got started, our first washing machine was given to us by a friend of ours. When he delivered washing machines, people often paid him to take away the old one. The only thing wrong with it was the hand grip was broken. So you needed to push in with a screwdriver to open the door. I think we used it like that for 10 years or so till it finally died. Now the once every 10 year clean up over the back. Alright, we can do a bit better job of it than that. This reminds me a bit of the time on recruit course when Corporal Worthington came in for an inspection and asked, when was the last time you cleaned your soap dish? And I'm like, wow, never ever occurred to me to clean a soap dish, so never. Yeah, he threw my soap dish on the floor and called me a toad. Rest of my life, I always clean my soap dish. It's never looked this clean since I first did this tiling. And it's probably never going to look this clean again until the brushes are worn out again. You know, as far as I remember, that back was actually taped on when new. Right, now 
that's a latching fault. So when I turn the machine back on, it's still there. But to clear it, luckily, thanks to the wisdom of the internet, I turned to six, six o'clock. Press and hold this button and turn one more notch clockwise. Wait for five seconds. Now when I turn it on, hooray, you fixed the problem. Oh man, sure is lucky I don't work on aircraft anymore. Very proud of my wife's troubleshooting. Top work. Right, there's the finished product. I reckon Mog's wheels are going to find it irresistible. So the moment of truth. Does it fit? Or is it too small? It's too small. No, 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 wait, wait. No, it was upside down. Oh. Just like a bottle. That'll work fine. Alrighty, cool. Cool. Alrighty, cool.